Hello guys, this is Beidou. Today's video is going to be about Beidou Guy. For those of you who doesn't have Beidou, you're lucky. You're going to get the free Beidou from the event. Also, if you open your shop and spend 34 star glitters, you're going to get another Beidou. That's going to be great if you guys have like a C4 or a C5 Beidou. First of all, we're going to talk about all the talents that Beidou has. Beidou's E is called Tie Caller. If you press your E without getting hit, you're gonna do a little amount of damage. But if you hold your E and getting two hits from the enemies, then you can maximize your E and do a lot of damage to the enemies. Storm Breaker. Beidou's Elemental Brace. You're gonna create a lightning surrounding yourself. When you normally attack the enemies, you're gonna deal electro damage to them. Beidou's passive, Retribution. If the enemy hits you and you press your E at the same time, you're gonna create a perfect counter attack. At that time, you're gonna maximize your E. Passive 2. When you maximize your E damage, you're gonna increase your normal attack damage by 15%. Also, you're gonna increase your attack speed by 15%. Next, we're gonna talk about Beidou's Constellation. C1, when you use Beidou's Q, you're gonna create a shield. C2, the lightning of Beidou's Q can jump to two additional targets. C3, increase the level of Beidou's E by 3. C4, when being attacked, Beidou's normal attack is gonna deal electro damage. It's like the mini version of the elemental burst. C5, increase the level of Beidou's Q by 3. C6, when Beidou uses her Q, she's gonna reduce the electro resistance of the nearby enemy by 15%. Weapons The best weapon for main DPS Beidou are Wolf Greystone and the Unforge. For 4 star weapons, you can use Serpent Spine, Prototype, or Black Cleave. For sub DPS, you can use Wolf Greystone, Skyward Prime, Serpent Spine, or Prototype. For physical Beidou, you can use Wolf Greystones, Song of the Broken Pine, or Star Silver. Artifacts When you are building main DPS Beidou, you can use 4 piece Thunder Shooters, you can use 4 piece of Thundering Fairies, or you can use 2 piece Thundering Fairy plus 2 piece Gladiators. For sub DPS Beidou, you can use 4 piece of Emblems, or you can use 2 piece of Gladiators plus two pieces of Nobosis. For physical Beidou, you can use four pieces of Gladiators, or you can use two pieces of Gladiators plus two pieces of Bloodstain. If you do not have Bloodstain, you can replace it with Pale Flame. Team Combinations, if you have four pieces Thundering Furies on Beidou, you can put Sing Shield Bandit Kasua on your team. If you do not have Kasua, you can replace him with Xiang Ni. If you're using 4-piece Thunder Shooter, you're gonna have Beidou, Xingqiu, Fischl, and Kasura in your team. Thunder Shooter is gonna give your Beidou 35% bonus damage if the enemy is under the Electro effect. Xingqiu is gonna trigger the Electro Charge, it's not gonna remove the Electro effect. But Pyro characters like Bandit and Xiang Lin, they're gonna trigger over low and it's gonna remove all the effects on the enemy. Then Beidou is gonna lose 35% bonus damage. If you are building a physical Beidou, you can have a cryo characters like Rosalia on your team. She can create super contact with Beidou. It can reduce the enemy's physical resistance by 40%. Xing Yan is good because she can provide beta shield and she can give beta more physical damage. Zhong Li is really good also because his E doesn't just give you shield, it also reduces the enemy's physical resistance by 20%. You can put another to your characters like beta on your team. It's gonna give you 15% bonus damage when you have the shield on. If you have Xing Yan on the team, you can use Bandit also. 
Bennett is fine as long as he's not C6. For main DPS Beto or physical Beto, you want to have attack percentage for your sense. For sub DPS Beto, you can have energy recharge for the sense. For main DPS Beto and sub DPS Beto, you're gonna have electro damage bonus for the goblet. If you're using physical Beto, you have to change your goblet to physical damage bonus. For circlet, you can have quick damage or quick rate, it doesn't really matter. Do not use attack circlets. That's not gonna work. I always said that Kasua is the best support for Beto. That was because with Fairy Descent set, Kasua can reduce the enemy's electro resistance by 40%. Also, if you build Kasua in full elemental masteries, that's gonna give your Beto almost 40% more electro damage. Plus Bennett and Mona, you're gonna do huge damage with Beto's E. Alright, that's what I got for you guys today. I will see you guys in the next video.